What is Enterprise Architecture? In this short video, I'm going to explain what Enterprise Architecture is. I'm going to do that by answering four questions. What is an enterprise? How do you architect an enterprise? What makes Enterprise Architecture special and unique? And do we need Enterprise Architects? What is an enterprise? An enterprise is any type of human endeavour. It's being enterprising. In any enterprise there are always people collaborating together for a purpose, supported by a platform. The people might be organised as a company, a business division or a project team. The purpose might be to run a commercial business, a charity, a government body or a creative venture. And the supporting platform might include buildings, equipment and information technologies. An enterprise is therefore made up of many interrelated elements, management pieces like the organisation structure, capabilities and skills, or strategies and plans, operational pieces like activities and processes, products, transactions or services, and supporting pieces like software applications, databases, hardware platforms and communication networks. All of these pieces are structured and arranged in ways that allow the enterprise to exist and to fulfil its aims. The structure and the arrangement of all these pieces is the architecture of the enterprise. So every enterprise has an enterprise architecture. It's important to remember here that an enterprise is not always a company. It can be part of a company, it can be a non-commercial endeavour or a temporary project. It is any human undertaking. As every enterprise has an enterprise architecture, the next question is, how do you architect an enterprise? There is a process of architecting which applies the discipline of enterprise architecture and produces outputs that describe the architecture of an enterprise. The process of architecting involves taking stock of the relevant components or building blocks that make up an enterprise. This is much more than simply information technology. For example, this might include communications networks, computers and laptops, databases and media stores, buildings and locations, products and events, services, applications, data, processes, capabilities, strategies and organisation structures. An architect then needs to examine how these components enable or constrain the enterprise. We do this by looking at how the components are organised or configured, how they're used and how they behave or perform together. Enterprise architects look at the architecture in two main states, how it is in its current state and how it might be in the future. Architects then work out the alternatives and options for moving from the current state to the future target state. They create frameworks to manage the architecture, detailed descriptions of the architecture and its components, and roadmaps to show the best ways to change and improve the architecture. They assess the constraints and opportunities, costs, benefits, risks and value in each option to help decision makers select the best alternative. So architecting an enterprise is a process. It requires experienced and skilled enterprise architects applying a professional discipline called enterprise architecture. And it produces descriptions of the architecture of an enterprise in its current and future states that guide changes to the architecture. What makes enterprise architecture so special or unique? Enterprise architecture is one of the few disciplines that examines the management and evolution of an enterprise holistically as a whole unit. But what really makes enterprise architecture so special is that it does this by applying a unique combination of specialist techniques, such as architecture frameworks, fundamental factors and principles, separation of concerns, domain analysis, patterns and building blocks. Do we need enterprise architects? No. There are many enterprises that come into existence without the intervention of an enterprise architect. There is a strong belief, however, that there are many situations when it's better to architect an enterprise than to leave the creation and evolution of its architecture to chance. The belief goes that it's better to have an architecture that is integrated, coherent, 
and proactively designed than one that is random, ad hoc and inconsistent. Remember, the enterprise will always have an architecture. It's not optional. But we do have a choice on whether we manage its evolution or not and how well we manage it. We can leave a garden so that it gets overtaken by weeds. We can do the gardening ourselves or we can employ a professional gardener. We can make a sandwich, create a meal by following a tried and trusted recipe or go to eat in a top restaurant. Plants will grow with or without our intervention. People need to eat. It's not an option. And in the same way, every enterprise has an architecture, whether we choose to manage it or not.